please, I'm begging you, warning you, pleading with you, do not, don't move from the city to the country. Here's why. Is moving from the city to the country smart? Will life actually be better in the country when you're living in the city? So, you're thinking of moving from the big city, the crime-filled, brightly lit, concrete everywhere big city, and moving to the country, the low crime, fresh air, open spaces in the middle of nowhere country. But the question still is, will your life really be better living in the country? Life in the city requires a certain skill set, and life out in the country requires a different skill set. Crime. What about crime? The country is safer than the city, right? Wrong. Sure, you have to deal with street thugs in the city situational awareness and all that. Watch out that you don't get mugged. In the country, you have creepy crawly bugs of all kinds. Spiders, snakes, lots of snakes, raccoons, coyotes, and bears, oh my. In the city, you have two-legged predators that might mug you, but in the country, there are critters that will eat you. Do you really want to be eaten alive? Stay in the city, please. Money. Hey, right or wrong, good or bad, for many people, it's about the money. The country is cheaper than the city, right? Wrong. In the city, you probably live in a small apartment. Maybe you think the monthly payment is too much for such a small place. Out in the country, you can get a much larger place, probably even on a nice big piece of land, for a lot less money. But in the long run, is it really cheaper living in the country? No! Your big country house is going to cost you a fortune to heat. It probably isn't even insulated. The plumbing's probably about to fail. The roof is leaking. Didn't you see the movie Baby Boom where Diane Keaton moves from New York City up to Vermont? <sighs> Nothing but problems. Her well ran dry, pay to connect to county water. Her roof was falling in with snow inside the house. Pay for a new expensive roof. Do you really want to be out in the middle of nowhere, self-sufficient and on your own? Stay in the city, please. Food. What about fresh food from your own garden? Food in the country is better than food in the city, right? Wrong. Sure, in the city grocery store, you have no idea where your food's coming from or what the heck has been done to it, but you always have food. Out in the country, what are you gonna eat in the winter when the ground is frozen rock hard? How much food can you eat from a garden after the bugs and the birds have eaten their share? Do you like high protein tomatoes and peppers? What's worse than biting into something and seeing a worm? Biting into something and seeing half a worm. Stay in the city Please! The city has the soothing sounds of traffic, the occasional siren that you fall asleep to. Ah! <laughs> In the country, you have roosters crowing all night long, cows mooing, and the smell. The country smells. In the city, no wild critter critters that will eat you. In the city, no worrying about the electricity or the water. Hey, it's somebody else's problem. Food's available at the corner store. No hassle of growing it yourself. No pulling weeds or fighting tomato eating bugs or any of the outside hard work. Stay in the city, please. If you have a friend that's thinking about living self-sufficient in the country on a homestead, please, 
share this video with them. It's up to you to keep them from making the biggest mistake of their life. Beg them, plead with them to stay in the city, please. Do you really want to drive 20 miles to town every time you need something really important? You know, like a late night pizza? Stay in the city, please. It's all about you living your self-sufficient life dreams. Living happy, living fun loving, and living carefree. Live life doing it yourself.